Okay guys, so here's the trick. Put some tape down, add the flap it over. I'm waiting for my assistant to come by to lift it up so I can do the same with the other piece. This bottom piece does not necessarily have to tape once you tuck it under because when we lift up the box from that side, it will stay. you get it all out of the box, this is what it should look like. My first time building it. Okay, so I'm assuming I'm gonna cut this on both ends and clamshell it down and open it up to expect the whole bike and then have some help carrying it up the stairs. So at this point, there's some stuff you need to just make sure you snip away the tape. I'm waiting for my assistant to come back so I can lift it up and then hopefully the styrofoam will fall away and I can see the proper way of carrying this up the stairs. Okay, so we have the instructions that we read through it, okay? And they say to start off with getting the tools out. Notice how there's step one, two, three, four. All right, the bike is right now on head, so I can move it around. And then eventually when the wife gets back up here, we'll get rid of this carpet. And we'll move it on top of the rubber pad to its final resting place. Um, and then I'm just waiting for her to come and lift up so I can put the feet on. Okay, so my helpers came, but they wouldn't be on camera. But basically, it's pretty simple. They hold it up, and you just gotta get those in and tighten it up. All right, same with this one right here. As they hold it up, tighten it up. Next is this. Um, you can see there's one hole that is top. You can see the threads in, and then the bar holder. And underneath, you just need this Allen key that they give you, and simply tighten it up. If your seat's down, and then it hits this, just raise up your seat. Okay, that's Delilah, my puppy. All right, so a lot of complaints about this being so here, okay? Um, I can see why you might complain about it because if your legs were hitting it here, it's a, a nuisance. But after setting it, yeah, there is an adapter. You can just push this in and you turn it without adjusting the tension. This freeze. So you can point this away from your leg. Have not rode it yet, as you can see. I'm in the middle of still setting it up, but this should not be a problem. What's up? Tired of getting yelled at? Eh? All right. We're gonna mount this up. They tell me to pull this up. So I'll loosen this up and bring it up, and then I'll unwrap it and put that on there. Okay. So. If you read the instructions all the way, before tightening up the four screws that are on the bottom of this, you really want to get on the bike and center yourself like this and make sure it's centered before tightening. It pretty much lines up dead on anyway, but just in case. Okay, another thing is the chair was a tiny bit off, like the seat, I should say, the saddle, no big deal. All you gotta do with the wrench that comes with it is untighten that, move it a thing. When that's loose, you could also adjust the angle. All right, you'll learn when you ride if you want this a flat level or tilted by moving up and down on this. Okay, so we have it on a mat. Um, everything looks good. Go. I just mounted this and then moved it a little bit closer to the shades. Don't just cut the shades and knock them all off. And the balling, haven't done that yet. Um, it looks looking good and tight. My only issue I see now, and I haven't taken the level out, is look at the screen. I mean, I hope it doesn't bother me, but we'll see. I looked into it, it's, it's firm. I mean, I'll to loosen up the nuts and see if there's something I can do about that. Um, but actually, it looks like the mount, but we'll see. So, I got the pedals on. All right, and then on the same page, it tells you to remove this. Now, 
I mean, the biggest fears I had before purchasing this is that people are complaining about a knock. Um, and they say to remove this plastic piece. So let's see if I can get a flashlight on for you. I have something better. Yes, here we go. All right, so it's basically a spacer. It should come right out. It's designed to be pulled with this thing. Um, let's try it out. Let's double checking what it is and how far down it goes under. All right, let's see. Let me roll out the thing. All right, I'm not forcing nothing yet. Let me take a better look at it and I'll get back to you. Okay, so fairly simple. Um, I was just more scared to break anything beforehand. Um, pull, this is in between the magnet magnets. So you want to pull straight along the wheel and even the wheel, let the wheel come if it wants to roll and it'll just slide right out. It wasn't really that much pressure in there. Um, it was more, I was just afraid to pull on it until I looked at it a little more. And it even says in the directions to pull it straight out. So this is the best way to do it since you're against the wall. I was trying to do it first the other way. And this cable, there's nothing in the instructions until you go to another page. It's not that clear. Okay, to go in this way. So basically you have a power and information, but you also have like um, your audio jack. <clears throat> okay, uh, not that clear, there you go, okay. So, goes in just like this, and then, all right, all right, now you take your power cord, this is underneath the flywheel, see if you can see this, and it goes right inside this, okay, almost looks like a bolt, if you're not on the opposite side, it goes right in here, and then dress this over to the cord. Now your bike is powered from the wall to here, the bottom, I see the internal wiring and then going up. All right, we have these Velcros to address your wires away from any moving parts. Okay, and up and make it nice and neat. <clears throat> I'll take care of that right now and then plug it in. I believe this is it. It's loading up. I have everything in. It's not set up to my size yet. I don't have my bike shoes on, but for the first pedal, let's see how it goes. Actually, Okay. <clears throat> Come on, get in there. There we go. That's our welcome screen. First pedaling. Quiet. Those clicking that you hear is definitely the clips. That's just the belt. That's... All right, that's awesome because so many people, huh? I keep saying that, but not true, have a knocking noise. I'm not hearing that yet. And then let me try to turn off this light. Okay, and now I just got to set up. Oh, <laughs> loosen that up. Now I'm not an Android user, but like I said, I had the thing three, four days before it came. I already put Netflix on. Here's something that I wrote to the people. Oh, and by the way, nicest people in the world to email to. Um, this is the default browser that you come with from there. Then download your Chrome and then go to a thing called APK Mirror. And it's your Android app. From there, we get this and that. We're going to sign on here for a couple months. Oh. And try to stride first, and then if we don't like it, we got Peloton. 